What is a talk giving their own attempts at defining the word woman? I've yet to hear a good definition from anybody on the left. I'm always ears wide open for anyone who wants to give it a try. So let's just start at the top with uh, clip one. Can we talk about the definition of woman for a second, please? Because I'm really tired of people saying that, oh, lips can't even define the word woman. Well, first of all, I'm not a liberal, I'm a leftist. So let me tell you what the definition of woman is. <clears throat> there isn't one. Not this again. Yes, Francine, this again. Gender is a social construct. And as such, the definition of woman, which is a gender, will change depending on where and who you are. The definition for gender overall will be different across countries. Biologically speaking, it doesn't even make sense to try and define woman through biology because not all females are the same. Example number one, some can't have kids. Everyone who says that motherhood is what makes you a woman is literally just invalidating every woman who either can't have kids or doesn't want to have kids. The same applies to sexual organs and genitalia. Okay. Um, My God has forsaken me. So let's start with there isn't a definition for a woman. Well, to begin with, then stop using the word. You cannot use a word if you if it doesn't have a definition. If by your own telling it has no definition, then what are you doing using it? So just as a comparison, sake, if I were to tell you this, hey, I was walking down the street the other day and I saw a um, I saw a zipper do. I saw a zipper do when I was walking down the street. Can you believe it? I saw a, it was a, this really big zipper do. And then you said, what's that? What is a zipper do? What are you talking? That's what is that? And I said, oh, it doesn't have it. It's not anything. It doesn't have a definition. You see the problem here? How can I possibly be talking about a thing that has no meaning and no definition? This is this is in, it becomes incoherent babble. <laughs> Please, no gibberish tonight, please, I beg you. Sorry, Daddy. So, if that is what you actually believe, then you are not allowed to use the word anymore. You can't talk about women's rights. You can't talk about women's equality. You can't talk about the women, uh, the alleged women pay, uh, gender pay gap. Um, you can't call yourself a woman. What is the definition of a nonsense word? Well, that would be a word that has no meaning. And then from there we get the the standard, which I've we, we've addressed, you know, at at length. But the old uh, well, there's some women, there's some women who can't get pregnant. You see? Checkmate. Checkmate. Listen, guys, I have to say this right. I really must say this. I really must say this. You know, at a certain point in time, Matt Walsh will have to let this go because. I really do not get his whole obsession about this whole topic. What is a woman? Every day he is so obsessed about the whole thing that makes you wonder if someone or a woman or somebody kind of like abused him when he was a child or something. Because most people, when they carry out a project and after the project is done, they move on to the next project. They don't get hung on the, on, on, on the same thing for many, many years. In fact, I am beginning to think that if you take away this particular subject, what is a woman, Matt Walsh will be totally lost. He will have nothing to do. Like, I think like his whole day will be completely useless because there will be like nothing for him to do. Sometimes I feel like he has nothing else to talk about, nothing else to do than just be obsessive about who or what is a woman. When he was able to get his documentary to be um, played or to be uploaded for people to watch it on Twitter, and he was really, really happy about that. And to him, Elon Musk has delivered on his promises. And when I watched all that, I really saw the hypocrisy in what they were doing. Because you must remember, when things go their way, when they get things their way, they are always happy with the system. They are always happy with whoever was in charge of making sure that things go their way. But if they don't get things the way they want, if for some reason, things do not go their way, then the person who was in charge of making sure that 
things when the other way is a bad person. Say, for example, they claim that they want small government. They claim that parents should be involved with what their children learn in school. Parents should be informed. Parents should know what this, their children are learning. And any decision regarding their children, the parents must be involved. The parents must be consulted. Now, in a separate issue whereby parents allow their children through consultation with doctors for the children to undergo maybe sex or gender reassignment surgery or taking some hormones, then they are against it. Then the government needs to step in to stop parents from giving their children gender affirming care or gender reassignment surgery that the children might need. Now, I'm not saying that children should be given gender reassignment surgery. I'm not saying that children should be transformed. That's not what I'm saying. If you ask me personally, I believe that children should be left alone. Children should be left to study. And when they turn 18, they can make these life-changing decisions by themselves. A child cannot concern to anything. So I think a child should not be allowed to underwent all this gender reassignment surgery. But my point is the double standard. When things go their way, it's good, and the government shouldn't get involved. But when things do not go their way, then the government should get involved. And that is the problem with most conservatives, the problem with most religious fundamentalists. Because when they win, the system is fair, the system is balanced, everything is okay. But when they lose, then the system is weak. The system is unbalanced. The system is unjust. Everything has to go their way or it's not fair. That's my whole point. So I believe that people should live and let others live. My position or my take on this particular subject hasn't changed. I personally believe that everyone should live their lives the way they want. If people want to be identified as male or female, let them be. People should do what makes them happy. As long as they are not hurting other people, they should live. Because I do not think that somebody identifying as a he or a she got anything to do with any other person. Like, I have never thought for a second that someone who wants to be called a he or a she, that the action has any direct impact on my life. Like, whether I call a he or she wouldn't change anything, right? If I want to, I will. If I don't want to, I won't. But it would not change anything. It will not make me who I am not. That's my whole point. So, Matt Walsh has got to let this go, okay? The obsession is getting out of control. That is the question he's been asking people for many, many years now, and he has deliberately not let it go. So, I think he should let it go. I think people should live their lives the way they want. And let's just have a free society. Let's just live and let others live. Isn't that very simple? Just live your life and let others live their life, you know? That would be way more better than us spending valuable time just trying to prove that our point is better than other people's point. Or the way we are living, the social construct we have now is way more better than the one they are proposing, and that they must live according to the social construct that we have or that we like to live by. That is not how things are supposed to go. That is not how things are supposed to be. But you guys out there, what is your take about this whole Matt Wars thing of what a woman is? Let us know in the comment section below because like, oh, we love hearing what you have to say. 
And also, please don't forget to like this video, share this video, follow our Facebook page, and most importantly, subscribe to the channel because people did of good tweet and the what you're doing just now. Help us a lot. I shall ever be grateful to you. So thank you very much for doing just that. And like always, see you in the next one.